Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys my reaction to the NHL 23 Game Modes Deep Dive trailer. Uh, out of all of the trailers, this is the one I am not getting my hopes up for. Even though it's probably the one I would be most excited about, this and the presentation one. I will say the presentation one was a dub. I will give EA credit. That was a big dub. Sure, there might be like 2K that, you know, there's Stanley Cup celebration. You could kiss the cup, choose to hand it, who to hand it off to, um, actually skate around with it. Yes, that might be better, but we got to give EA credit here. That was, that was big. That was pretty big. So, but with that being said, the game modes one, I am not getting my hopes up for. I'm really not, but I'm hoping that it will be good. So we'll see. But as a big offline guy, be a pro franchise, you know, I don't expect the biggest changes, but when it comes to be a pro, I definitely expect some fixes. Sorry, my cats are shaking the desk here. But let's go for, let's go for 300 likes. Go ahead, smash the like button, show that love and support, subscribe, join the Dorsal fam. Don't forget to ring that bell. And if you guys want to see the videos live before they go up on YouTube, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Link is down below. And there's the Ivies. And let's go ahead and get right on into this. Come watch with me. Come on, we're gonna prepare for disappointment. Please don't go watch with me. Welcome to the NHL 23 Game Mode Steep Dive. Let's start by talking franchise mode and the all new custom leagues. We're gonna allow players to play with any number of teams, any number of games played, divisions, conferences, really customized leagues to the rosters that they wanted to create or share with others. So you can select anywhere from 6 to 48 teams, as well as any number of divisions and conferences within the number of teams that you have. So if you want a 48 team, zero conferences, and eight divisions setup, you can do that. The original six where they just play each other in the league, you can do that. You'll also have the ability to turn off what the minimum cap is. So if you're creating an era from the past, you can turn off the salary cap. But now you're also giving you the granularity of what's the max cap. Dynamic schedules will let you do anything from setting the number of round robin rounds that you want to play. You can even set the number of division games, conference games, interdivision games, interconference games, depending on your league setup. And you can set those from anywhere from 20 to 84. You can set wins from anywhere from one to four points. You can change the points for losses, or you can change the format in which the playoffs are played. You can also set whether or not the wild card standings format is enabled. And we also have a new thing called the wild card round, which allows you to have a play in round similar to the NHL bubble back in 2020. Depending on the number of rounds you've selected, you'll be able to change the number of games played in each of those rounds. We support one game, three games, five games, or seven games, as well as a two game aggregate. So if you want to play a seven game series where you play the first three games away and then the next four games at home, you can do that if you want to play an alternating schedule we allow you to do that as well that's actually uh pretty cool i don't know if that's a feature i will use but i do like the whole like you can do kind of like the bubble uh rounds you know something like that if you want to make it uh i guess you could possibly go back to uh like how it used to be where um you know this was like i don't know like a decade ago where standings or the divisions didn't matter at all. It was the top eight teams in each conference. At least that's how I remember it when I first started getting into hockey. That's how it was. It was the first or it was the top eight teams in, in the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference that got to go to the playoffs. And the divisions, to my knowledge, didn't mean anything. And it was all the conference. But uh, obviously now it's not like that. But uh, I guess you could maybe do something like that. I don't know, but that is a pretty cool feature. I don't know if it's something I will use, but it would be something that could be fun to experiment with. If you wanted to change the schedule for the AHL, you can do that. Everything you can do with the NHL schedule or playoff format or the league setup in general, you can do that. 
of a player this year creates a 48 team custom roster you're able to go in and after downloading that roster sharing file you'll go into custom leagues and then you can sub in all the teams that the player created if they're not nhl teams into franchise mode in custom leagues and then you can recreate the league in whichever way you want to with those 48 teams there's just so many cool things that our players did last year we really wanted to give them the power to take the next step having fun in franchise mode our number one oh that's it <laughs> all right I mean, I don't even, I guess that's a franchise mode feature. It's more of like a, like a custom league, but okay. That kind of stinks. I thought maybe, I mean, I don't know. I think franchise is probably out of all the offline modes, probably the one that's pretty good. The only thing that I really hate is it's the only game, only sports game that I know of that you can't edit a player's attributes once you start a franchise. And it sucks because when players get updated you know some guys are really low level and then when they get called up they their overall goes up with roster updates so it kind of sucks that you can't do that in franchise mode so i also i also wish you could import players based on roster updates once you already start a, a franchise but i mean that's i don't think that's in any sports game to my knowledge but at least none of the ones i play but all right i mean Hopefully, be a pro get something. The focus for World of Chell this year was the implementation of cross-platform matchmaking. When it arrives in November, PlayStation and Xbox players in the same console generation will be able to play against one another across all World of Chell online modes for the first time in franchise history. And now that our matchmaking pools are essentially doubled, you'll be spending less time in the queue and more time on the ice. The early prototype is promising, and we couldn't be more excited to implement this as well as continue to work on connecting our players as best as possible. It's worth mentioning that cross-platform matchmaking is also completely optional and can be toggled on or off by all players. Because of the expanded matchmaking pools, we've updated our servers to better allocate to where our players are based and added a new server aimed at helping players in the central part of North America. One of the largest quality of life asks we get from our community is the ability to open hockey bags faster. This year, we've added the ability to go quickly from one bag to the other, allowing you to open them at a much faster pace than ever before. We've also added a dedicated strategy screen where you can access our- I don't play World of Chell, but I mean, I haven't touched it in a while, but I do remember those hockey bags. It's like, come on, just let's get, let's rip through these. And yeah, it did kind of suck that you had to like go back and, but that's nice that they have like a quick open feature now. New and existing strategies to fine tune your team play. You'll also find a new wide range of customization options for your team and player. Based on your feedback last year, we've tuned the preset attributes on multiple classes to ensure balance. This includes increasing the starting attributes, giving you a higher starting overall to work with. We've also added additional loadout slots, giving you more flexibility and choice from game to game. One thing that um, I do like is the new, uh, there's now logos. I'm hoping they added more like historical logos because I like to do expansion franchise and use like previous teams. So kind of running out of teams to do. So hopefully they added some new ones. That would be nice, but we'll see. We understand that having to come into NHL and set your team up for each and every game and online versus, that's not where the fun lies. And we want players to get into that next experience, that next game as quickly as possible. So this year, we're giving you the ability to save your lines and strategies for online versus. This also partners well with the new strategies that we have in the feature set for 23. And it was important to us that we get this in the game, get you into every match as quickly as possible, remove the work, and let you have the fun that you've come to NHL for. Well, that's it. That sucks. <laughs> that was, that sucks. Nothing for Via Pro. That was so bad last year. Oh my gosh, the, I w the last episode when I was simming, I'm still hearing about how I'm in the Calder race. I'm in like my sixth or seventh season. And they didn't even fix that. And the amount of cutscenes are so repetitive. And they're slow. Man, that blows. That's another thing. Like, I don't even know what like, the social media following does. Like, I feel like a lot of the things they added in Be a Pro, which were supposed to be cool, like the money that you could spend and all that, like... It, it like the the idea was there, but it did not 
amount to really anything. I mean, I barely focus on the money that you make with your contracts and spend it on things because I just feel like it doesn't do too much. So, like, I was able to get my overall up pretty high without having to... I mean, I spent it on a few things, but most of the stuff is temporary, which kind of sucks. And it also, like, makes some attributes worse, but... I don't know. The idea was there, but I feel like it could have been better. And the fact that they did nothing to be a pro really irritates me. I do like the... I mean, versus this... And no offense, does anyone even play that? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't think I've touched online versus maybe I've played it like once or twice like against friends but I don't know I do like the strategy thing I do think that's pretty cool for those who do play it but there's like nothing they didn't really add anything big I think this was an L I'm a little disappointed with this I mean the things they added were like all right cool but it wasn't anything like the custom leagues is probably the best thing but at the same time it's like all right you know, how many people will actually mess with that? I'm sure some will, but for a franchise guy like me, I'll probably keep it at default. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But little, little disappointing. I think, I think this was an L. I think this was a big L. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, not happy with that. Especially that Be a Pro got absolutely nothing. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, you know, D d make, just so you know, I didn't make this trailer, so if you dislike it, please don't <laughs> dislike the video, or d do it if you actually didn't like it, but I don't, I did not make the trailer, so I have no, no say in what's added to the game, but thank you all for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, definitely leave your comments down below to what you guys think, and yeah, that's gonna do it, thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys next time, peace.